Hi everybody, thank you for tuning in to today's video. I'm Timothy, and today I will be sharing some tips on how to use the mobile analytics suite. With the launch of the analytics suites last Friday, as you can see on the new agent app, you might be wondering what can be done with the different dashboards or why you should even use it in the first place. So these are some of the dashboards that we have on offer. And if you watch Christine's live stream on Tuesday, where she had presented on the luxury market update, she mentioned also that the slides inside her the graphs inside her slides were all created using the mobile analytics suite. Today, I'll be going through the slides, or at least the ones with the graphs inside, and also give a live demonstration on how to replicate and recreate those charts. So for example, this still image that you see here is actually from a screenshot from my phone. And it can be transferred over quite easily from the Asian app from the screenshots on your phone by either USB or you can send it to yourself by email or WhatsApp. For me, it's just I plug in a USB cable and transfer. And I will also be going through a live demonstration over here so you can see my phone at the side here. So this is like a live version. You might be wondering that whether the resolution is actually clear enough. But right now, because I'm mirroring my phone, the resolution might be a little bit slower because it's a uh, display. But the screenshots, as you can see here, are actually very clear. So you guys are invited to try along with me as you see, go as I go through my presentation. And yeah, I uh, will go through first the first the first graph, which is on slide four, and we'll go through it dashboard by dashboard. So this first graph here is actually from the private residential sales volume graph, and so we click here to see. So while it's loading, we can actually see this will be a short recap also as per what Daniel went through last week. So to get from this default view into this particular graph, we first press and change the time period. So by pressing the middle button that looks at the last 12 quarters as seen here. So we wait for it to load also. And then after that, we make sure that we filter out the rest of the segments to focus solely on the core central region. So to do that, we pr press the pie chart here, which will filter the above two graphs and will also affect the time horizon buttons. So this pie chart isn't actually just a visual that shows you the proportion of sales, but rather it's also it also acts as a filter that will affect the entire graph. So if you press on OCR, you might get you will get different results. But for today, we'll be looking at this CCR graph. So you can see now it's matching with the exact same numbers. Next, to look at the next graph, which is on her slide eight, this one looks specifically at new home sales. So to do that, we have to first deselect resale and subsale from the top two filters. And this will cause it to change subsequently. Another similar graph, which looks only at resale, in the CCR is easily derived from first pressing resale, then deselecting new sale. For the graph buttons here, for the filter buttons here, you have to take note that at first you have to select resale before you can deselect new sale because the filters here require at least one selection. For her next, for her next graph, it will be on the private residential price dashboard. So let's go there. So this is her slide five of her presentation. And so it's also quite simple to get here. So in this graph, we're looking at the average price of private non lender homes over a 10 year period. So to do that, we press the time horizon button and we wait. Okay, so there we can see the graph now looks like that one. And yeah, so this gives us the graph as seen from the slide screenshot and from this dashboard. But then now you'll be wondering how exactly can you get the figures on the on the right here. And this actually is still also within the dashboard. So you get here by first. So you can see my mouse over here. It represents like your finger. So by long pressing it, three options will show up. So we take the first option to show as a table. So this will give us now over in over here this table. We can see the table with the exact figures here. And 
we can easily now just take a screenshot of this and crop it to see the focus on what we want. To go back to the normal view, we press back to report here at the top of the slide, uh, at the top of the dashboard, which takes us back to the normal view. In slide nine of her presentation, which looks at the 10 year view of new homes in the CCR, we can get this again by deselecting resale and subsale. And so we'll see how price has been changing for the past 10 years for new homes. And in this one, we are specifically looking at the CCR. Again, if we long press on the graph itself, to show as a table, we can get the, we can get the average unit price of each new sale in the CCR. So one thing to note is that the that when you go into the graph view here, that the graph will be filtered exactly to show and it will not be affected. So whatever selection or filter you've made in the dashboard, even as you view it as a table, the figures will be reflective of that. So if you press the back button from the report to exit this view. So now we'll be on slide 11 of her presentation, we can see the best selling projects by month displayed here on little like arrow thing. So this is actually from the bottom right of bottom left hand side of the dashboard. And in order to get this per month, we first change the time horizon back to the 12 months view. So you press the graph button. The next thing, how exactly would you be able to get it month by month? Like, because this one shows much and everything, but this one is more of a summary. So these summary boxes are also filterable by pressing on, for example, you can press on the axis, which will now specifically look at March and the best selling projects, the highest price project and the lowest price units. So now as you see, it will be matching the thing. So March is, is the M and February will be also the M with 373 units. January and December. So how would you know if you press the graph correctly? So actually this second graph will be a good way of like making sure that whatever you pressed is actually the correct thing. So sometimes cost fingers are, cost the dashboard can be a little bit difficult to press, especially when it's a bit small. So you can just refer back to here in order to make sure that you press correctly. Another thing to note is that beyond just looking at, for example, the different month, the different months here, you can actually press like quarter three, quarter four of these buttons over here to take a look at what it looks like in the quarter view. As well as for this one, 2019, it'll look at the remainder of 2019 because this looks, this graph is filtering everything out to look specifically at the past 12 months. So you can look for data similarly. If you change it to the last 12 quarters, now you look at things in a three year view, you can press 2017 to see the best project of 2017 or in 2018, or if you want to zoom down into quarter four, but specifically you can also. So her last, the last dashboard that we'll be touching on today is the private residential sales volume by district which is the third dashboard. So we wait for it to load first. Yep, sales volume by district, the third one. So this graph now looks at new sales volume of private non landed homes. So this graph, this dashboard is slightly different as it gives a summary of the past 12 months. You don't see the excesses by time, but now we can look at things as it performs throughout the whole past 12 months instead. So it's slightly different. So to get this first graph, we first deselect resale and subsale. So the numbers will then match up and we can then see how it looks like. And again, the next graph looks at private sales volume by district, but this time looking at resale. So again, 
we need to remember that this time round, you have to press resale first before deselecting new sale. So for example, if you press, you can't deselect resale first before clicking new sale here, as I'm trying for here. And on her slide 16, she looks at the top five districts and as well as the best land project, which is actually also on the same dashboard over here, except you kind of have to scroll down a little bit. So it will be at the bottom. So we can see the figures of district 10, district nine, and the best selling project. And also not included in the screenshot is actually the average price across all resale units in all districts. Okay, so other areas of that might be of use to you. This one, we'll have to go back to the first dashboard, the private residential sales volume dashboard. So some other things that might find useful in showing to your clients or customers is, so I'll wait for it to look. So based on this screenshot here, if you press on the type of sales in the legend at the top of this graph, as you can see over here, so yeah. Yeah, so this one will filter out to look. This one will highlight the new sales here. And for this one, we can actually see the numbers lower down. So for example, and the summary boxes will also reflect the new the total sales volume of new sales, for example, and the highest volume of new sales and lowest volume of new sales and the market proportion. So for example, if you're looking at specifically new sales and you want to see how it performs in each market segment, you can take a look by selecting here first, which will kind of show you over here. And so you won't necessarily see all of them here because the numbers are a bit small, so it won't really reflect. But over here, you can see that it should give you the rough proportion out of each. This for the whole 12 months too. And likewise, you can press on the components of the second graph. So for example, when you first reset this. And for example, if you look at RCR, so this graph image, actually takes a look at just for example, looks at the OCR region. But here I'm just looking at RCR. So this one it'll highlight the rest compared to the rest of to the other market segments and will give you the total sales volume of the RCR for all types of sales. And yeah, lowest volume, so these will might be similar across. So we have to take note of this. Yep. So this might be quite useful in helping you to look at the different sales volumes also and for different market set different types of sales and different market segments and in the private residential sales for volume by district dashboard we can actually look specifically at each district's best selling project for the respective time periods over here so for example district 19 the best selling project was the florence in the past 12 months Okay. And for District 10, it was One Holland Village Residences. You can just look at, okay, District 6 is bad. Okay, you can look at District 5 and see maybe Park, Park Clematis. Or you can look maybe at the past 12 quarters. And you can also look at what's the best selling projects by district. So if you're interested in information such as the best selling project within each district, you can go to this dashboard to take a look. And it will also give you things like for that district, for that specific district, what is the average selling price in per square foot in terms of per square foot and the and the details of the best selling project, such as what is the project name and how many units sold and what's the average price. Also, other things for you to take note. Depending on your creativity, you can also use the, the various charts and summary boxes to be put inside an EDM and send it out. This is a simple mock I have done to show perhaps one, one way of how like property prices in the CCR in, in this particular case in District 10 have been steadily going up. And it'll be one way, a good way to highlight the increasing value of a particular project. Over here, the summary box also shows about the best selling project and what's the average price. And you can also perhaps compare how this makes a, a project more valuable. And we are also coming up with newer dashboards that display 
more data and looks at data differently. So you can wait for those and see how it further enhances your presentation or EDM designs or for you to inform your clients and customers. So you can check back on the analytics suite in the Orange Tea Agent app soon. Also, we would like to announce that we have created a new set of videos called Market Pulse, which will be a summary of the past quarter's market statistics for both private market and for HDB. These videos will be released later and we'll inform you when it's out. We've also created infographics that summarize the various market performances for both private and HDB, and we'll be uploading these soon as well. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope that you found this video in finding new and creative ways to use the analytics suite. This demo was just one of the many ways that we hope you can use the dashboards. If you have any queries, please email us at research at Thank you.